Hello, Kids Church. Have you been enjoying our series on Jonah? Our storm brewing, sailor confusing, fish swallowing series? It's been awesome, hasn't it? Well, today is our final instalment. So hold on to your hats as we go back to the city gates of Nineveh to see how the story of Jonah ends. Whoa there! You look like a respectable man, but I have to ask, what are you doing in Nineveh? It's, it's me, Steve. Who? It's me. Daniel, son of Daniel! <gasps> on the wrong side of the gate, mate. What happened? This man of God came. And I mean the God, like the only God there really is. And he said that we needed to turn from our wrong ways. And we did. And to show that we were so sad about the way we were living, we didn't eat anything. And we put on sackcloth. Sack what? Sackcloth. You know, the horrible itchy stuff. Even the king put it on. And all the animals. Even John, son of John's cow. Yep. Even the cow. You wouldn't recognise the place now, Steve. Everyone's good and kind and they help each other. And most of all, we're all living our lives for the one true God. Wow. I know. Here, who's he? The one looking so glum? The one under the tree? He is the one who gave us the message. He's the man of God. And why is he not partying like the rest of you? Oh, he's having a party, all right. A pity party. Mm -hmm. He thinks that we don't deserve God's forgiveness. The cheek. Well, we don't really. True. I don't think anyone could possibly earn God's forgiveness. He is so good, so holy. Do you know what? I think it's more like an amazing, the greatest gift you could ever receive. Like a gift on your birthday. So he's like the grumpy sibling? Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Anywho, it is two hairs past a freckle. That's me done for the day. Here, Steve, why don't you tell me all about this one true God? Well. So did you guess who that grumpy man who Danny and Steve were talking about? Yes, it was Jonah, the man of God, the messenger of God, who didn't want to deliver the message. Now we've got a message to share about the good news of Jesus. Are we willing to share it? Do we hold it back from certain people? In Acts 2, 21, it says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The story of Jonah shows us that the good news of Jesus is for everyone even though all those 120,000 people of Nineveh. Can you imagine showing that many people to Jesus? So kids, your challenge this week is to make a cup phone. You just need an adult to help you make two holes in two cups and tie knots of string in the middle so they don't come apart. Pull it really tight and make sure nothing is on the string and talk or listen and you should be able to hear each other. How long can you make the bit of string? So have fun with it kids. See you next time. We have so many things going on here at New Life for the Kids. You can join us in our weekly Zoom meetings after the Sunday service, or you can go and check our Facebook page where you guys have been uploading so many cool things. Also, you can go and catch up on our old object lessons in our New Life YouTube channel. And if you want more information, feel free to email us at kids at newlifechurch.me.